Um, congratulations on being elected to a second term. How do you feel tonight? I feel great and just so grateful to the people of Colorado. I'm really excited to serve a second term. Uh, if anybody on the ticket, you know, this year had to deal with the election deniers and all of this yeah. conspiracies, it was you. How did you, um, you know, maintain your gumption going through this and ending up with a victory? Well, I, I think it's just so important to do the right thing always. And the right thing is to protect the right to vote and our fundamental freedoms. Uh, you know, I'll continue to push back on the conspiracies. I'll continue to act decisively. Whether it's a situation like Mesa County, where the Rogue County clerk breached her election uh, equipment, uh, to what we're seeing uh, to, to uh, uh, bills to try to suppress the vote, I'm going to stop as much as I can any rollback of voting rights and protect the right to vote of every eligible Republican, Democrat, and unaffiliated voter. Do you foresee that to be revved up after tonight when you, you know, start counting the ballots? What could happen eight days from now? Are you expecting anything in that nature? I, I think, unfortunately, um, with the uh, incitement of the insurrection and the attempted stealing of the presidency in 2020, uh, we're in a new chapter uh, of this nation's history. Uh, I, I unfortunately think that the conspiracy theories, the lies, they're not going to stop tonight. But what I can say to Coloradans is I'll continue to act proactively to strengthen our laws to get in front of anything that we can imagine can affect the right to vote in our state uh, and act decisively when we see any types of attempt to thwart the will of the people in the state of Colorado. And it seems along the last year or two, you really got this uh, high profile, lots of national attention. Do you think that's bringing additional attention to the state of Colorado and how we hold elections? Well, I think it's really exciting to be a, a ray of hope, a ray of sunshine for the nation. We're considered the gold standard because we have some of the best elections, the most accessible, the most secure in the entire country. Uh, and the ability to share our election model with the nation uh, and to, to show Americans who do not have that ease that we have, who do not have the security that we have, that there is a better way to do things is something that I'm always proud to do, to champion the Colorado election model because it works so well. Again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much.